So how do you guys turn off VPN? And there are actually three ways how you can do that. So let's begin with the first option. And that is the simplest one out of them all. If I go to the settings right now, this is the very first option because here in the main section, like here in the main like toggle set with the airplane mode Wi-Fi, like I mean in the connectivity section, you also have the VPN, which you cannot like click to open to enlarge that there is no other section to go through or anything like that. But there is one switch for the VPN. VPN. If you check out the control center, you can even see the VPN right there. So if I zoom it in like this, you can see next to the Wi-Fi, there is the VPN icon. So you also have it visible within the iOS. So it's not like uh, really that difficult to like uh, unsee it. And even if you do connect it, you're going to be able to see like it shows up for a quick second right there, even if you don't go to the control center. Anyway, if you disable VPN like this, now if I come back to the control center, the VPN no longer works. So this is like a basic easy switch. However, you cannot really turn it back on because it relies on the third party providers. So it's not like an iOS feature, but you need to have some Surfshark VPN or any other provider. It doesn't really matter what it is or NordVPN. Uh, you just have to have something. So this is like a good toggle to turn it off, but you cannot enable it back again using the same toggle. The second option, the second way how you can turn off VPN on your iPhone is by removing or uninstalling the VPN application. So for example, I'm using this uh, VPN app. It's a free VPN, but uh, it means that I can actually just hold down on the icon and remove the app altogether. I'm going to like delete the app. And uh, that means that I don't have any third party provider uh, for my VPN. And therefore I just got rid of it altogether. Of course, you have to reinstall the app to, con to connect back in. So it's not like the best solution, or you can just uh, turn it off within the provider. So that would be like the removing it altogether, but you can also just go in here. And as you can see right now, I am connected and there is like a button tap to disconnect. So you can see VPN at the upper right corner. Right now I am connected the VPN is active. So I can disable it in the settings, just like we talked about, or I can go back to my VPN provider. And here it literally says tap to disconnect VPN. So if I tap on it, it did disconnect it. Now I no longer use VPN. So either uninstall the app altogether or look for the disconnect or turn off button within your VPN application. So uh, the VPN provider should definitely have a button to like disconnect. So this is definitely something you should uh, do. By the way, this is a free VPN. Of course, I'm not affiliated with them or anything, but you can use it for free for by like exchanging your uh, watched ads for minutes of uh, surfing using the VPN. So you technically get it for free or you can pay for a premium version. That's why I'm using this app because it's like literally, you can see I have one minute left in the free VPN mode or whatever. So that's how it works. And that's why I was showing you this particular app. And uh, the third and final option, how you can uh, disable or turn off VPN on your iPhone is again in the settings. And you don't go like here to the VPN because here there isn't much to do, but you can go to the uh, general section. And here is again, VPN and device management. It's the same section, which we probably know about because it used to be the profiles and uh, device management. So in case you don't run the latest version of iOS, you're not going to be able to like see this section or it's not going to be titled the same way. Anyways, open up the VPN and device management and here you can see VPN. So it's not connected. And here it also tells me about my VPN provider. I can get more information about that. I can delete it from the settings right away. I can just enable it or disable it from here too. And I can also add my other configuration, but uh, it's much easier to like install an app from the app store and get it working that way instead of like uh, typing in the server numbers and IDs and authentications and stuff. So definitely simpler to like install in a third party app and use it that way. And here you also have the section to sign into your work or a school account to use the internet there because it's also possible to do it that way. Anyways, uh, that would be about it. Hope the video helped you out for more content like this and for more interesting and useful tutorials. Make sure to check out this uh, channel right here. It's the Fox Tech channel. And also take a look at the video right here because I think you're going to find it very useful. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.